My friends, another question which is very commonly asked in MNC interview questions, especially in the easy category of questions, is a question like this. Given an array of n integers, write a program to print the largest element present in the array. Example, if input is 5, it means n value is 5. Now they will give you 5 numbers, 3, 5, 7, 2, 4. Output has to be 7. Why 7? Because the largest element here is 7. Now how do you find this? Very, very simple. Let's look at the approach. But before I look at the approach, I am going to give you some time. You must first try it. Let me see how many of you can do it. I hope all of you got a chance to try it out. Now, those of you who are new to programming, who don't know how to do this, try to understand. First, let's look at the logic. Let's visualize it, okay? So, what they are saying is, you are given an array, okay? Now, in this array, you have five elements because n value is five. So, you have three, five, two, seven, four. Now, you know, arrays have indexes. Indexes start from zero. So, five elements mean zero to four, okay? Now, try to understand. To help you visualize this, let's take an example. Imagine each of these numbers is like the package of different students who have got placed in different companies. One person got 3 LPA, one fellow 5 LPA, 2 LPA, 7 LPA, 4 LPA, like that. Now your job is to find which amongst these people got the highest package, correct? But now we as human beings will take one second to look with our eyes and say that, sir, highest package is 7. But unfortunately, computer can't work like that. Computer will only work step by step. So, step by step, you should instruct the computer how it can find the highest salary. For this very simple, I'll employ one person. We'll call that person as Max. We'll call that person as Max. I will tell Max, initially the value inside you should be zero. Value should be zero. Your job is to take your value, compare it with the value of this person. Now, if your value is smaller than this person's value, or this person's value is greater than your value, then whatever is their value, you should store inside. Sir, didn't understand. Very simple. I will start with the first person's package. What is the first pa person's package? 3. Tell me, is 3 LPA greater than 0 or not? Yes. If it is zero, if it is greater, then you take that person's package and put it inside max. So, 0 gets replaced by 3. Now, what is the maximum? 3. But we have many more people to compare. So I'll say, okay, move on to the next person. Move on to the next person. Now I'll be like, now take your value, compare it with this person's package. This is 5, this is 3. Is 5 greater than 3? Yes. Which means now the maximum is 5. So I'll be like, replace 3 with 5. Understood? Again, I'll be like, move forward. Okay. Next, I'll be like, compare 5 with 2. Now tell me, is 2 greater than 5? Answer is no. If it is no, don't touch the max because right now max is 5 only. Nothing happens. Okay, very good. I will move forward again. Once I move forward, I will next take the next person. Is 7 greater than 5? Yes, 100% 7 is greater than 5, which means replace the old value of max with 7. Am I clear? Again, move forward. Check the next person's package. Is 4 greater than 7? Absolutely not. Absolutely not means do not modify max. Is there any more people left out? No. What is the value inside max? 7. Is that the largest element? Yes, that's all over. Understood? Now, what I showed you is logic. Now, converting logic into code is called as programming. Understood? The language of choice we are going to use is called as Java. But same logic can be implemented in C, C++, Java, Python, Ruby, C Sharp, Scala, Kotlin, any language. Understood? Okay, wonderful. Now, try to understand how we are going to be doing this, okay? Now, please try to understand what we did is, what we did. Now, logically, if I should tell you. First of all, if you observe, I should now start looping on this array from the first index. So, I will tell i start from 0. Next, from 0, it has to go to 1. From 1, it has to go to 2. From 2, it has to go to 3. From 3, it has to go to 4. And when it becomes 5, I should stop. When it becomes 5, I should stop. Correct? Now, how to write this? First of all, if you want to do looping, we have already discussed looping, we can make use of a loop called as for loop. Now, in the for loop, you will have three semicolons. This is initialization. Where should I start from? This is condition. Maximum till where should I go? 
This is incrementation or decrementation. By how much should I increase every time? Should it increase by one value? Should it increase by two values? Should it increase by four values? Like that. Understood? Now you know, I should start from zero. One by one it should increase. So I will tell, I start from zero, one by one, I plus plus. This we have already discussed. Now the only question is, till where should I go? Till where should I go means you will tell, till four. Uh, four can also be less than five. Because tell me, totally how many elements are there? Five elements. Yes or no? Less than 5 is only 4. So, I will tell I should maximum go till less than 5. Sir, can I say less than equal to 4? Yes, certainly. But I will say less than 5. Understand what I am trying to say? And now, what should I do inside this? What I should do inside this is, I should take every value inside this array, compare it with max. Check if it is greater. Now, how do you access an element inside this array? A R is the name of the array. 0 is the index. Index is only taken care of by I. So, AR of I means, if I is 0, it will be 0. AR of I means, if I is 1, it will be AR of 1, AR of 2, AR of 3, AR of 4. So, I will just go here and tell, check if AR of I, that is your element inside the array, is it greater than max. Now, this is a condition. Condition in programming should be put inside if. Now, tell me if this condition is satisfied, what should I do? What I should do is, I should take this element and put it inside max. That is what we were doing. If the value, the package was higher than the max value, you took that value and put it inside max. And that is what I'm trying to say. Assignment is right to left. AR of I, give it to max. Max you are not giving to AR of I. Please try to understand. And if any one of you are struggling with this syntax, this is called a syntax, it means you must spend some time learning one programming language properly. If you don't learn one language also properly, you will never be able to write code efficiently. Logic you may understand, but you will never be able to implement your logic because you don't have syntax knowledge. This is like some people can speak the language, but they can't read it, they can't write it. Yes or no? For example, I can speak Tamil fluently, but I can't read Tamil, I cannot speak Tamil. I, my, I learned Tamil by watching movies. Yes, but I can't read, I can't write. You will be like me. If I were to go to say Tamil Nadu and I see a bus, I want to go from point A to point B, I will see the board of the bus. I will not even be able to understand where this bus is going. Yes or no? Similarly, you may have the logic, but you will never be able to write the code. Syntax is important. Am I clear? Anyways, if this much is clear to all of you, then this is only the logic which in a second I can be writing. Let's go and try to look at how we can be writing the logic. Okay? Focus. Now, already the method has been created, everything is ready and I told you all this code you will not have to write. Already they would have written and given. Ignore this. Come on top. Your job is to just write this logic. N value is given to you. Now, I will come inside. First, I will create that max fellow, int max. Int max. Initially, what was the value? 0, equal to 0. Next, below that, I will create i, int i, because I need i for my looping. Next, I will be creating my for loop. I will tell for. Inside that I will go, put two semicolons, ah, put the body also, very good. Now I will tell, I should start from zero, maximum I should go till i less than, i less than, what should I tell, phi, okay, next I will tell i plus plus, understood, inside this I will go and put one if condition, if in case a r of i, a r of i, that is my element, if the element is greater than the value of max, is greater than the value of max. Then what should I do inside? I should now change max with this value. So I will tell max equal to AR of i, which means take AR of i, give it to max. Understood what I am trying to say? Very good. Now I will come outside this loop. Once I come outside this loop and it stops, max will have the highest value. That I will give it back. How to give it back? Return. What to return? Max. That's all. But there is one problem here. Problem here is, what did you tell phi? That is assuming n value is phi. But if n value is 10, now this also should become 10. If n value is 20, this should become 20. If n value is 30, this should become 30. Ah, then instead of telling phi, you make it as n. No, simple. That's all. Make it as n. That's all. If n is phi, phi. If n is 10, 10. n is 20, 20. Understood what I am trying to say? But first of all, they will give you two inputs here. One is n value, that is the total number of elements, comma, comma. One more thing they will give you is the array. Without the array, how will you do all this looping? What is AR? 
So, 100 percent here they will give you an integer array called as AR. Two inputs they will give you. N value they will give you, AR they will give you, array they will give you. Understood? Scroll down. Here also, see, when they are calling this function, they will give N also, comma, they will pass this array AR. Two things will be given as input, N value and the array. Scroll up. I hope you are able to see. Is this much clear to all of you? Now let us execute and check. If in case I compile it, if in case I execute it, now cursor is blinking. It is waiting for n value. Assume n is 5. Now if I press enter, it will wait for 5 values. 3, 2, 7, 4. Understood? And uh, one more value, 8. Tell me which is the highest now? 8. Press enter. 8. Again execute. Let us assume n value is 7. I will give 14, 8, 12, 25, 6. Which is the highest value? 25. Press enter, 25. Uh, sorry, one more value we should be giving. Uh, we can see, I can leave space also and give, I can press enter also and give. Both will work. Let's give one more, maybe uh, 14. Oh, sorry, uh, maybe 9. Now, which is the highest? 25. Okay, press enter. So, here, uh, you know, we pressed enter twice. This will not work. No problem. Control C, I will press. I'll just exit this. Okay, clear the screen. Re execute it. Give 7, 7. So I'll give 14, 8, 25, 6, 9. Five values I've given. Now if I press enter, 100% uh, you can see you left an extra space, I feel. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Seven values, no? Oh, control C, sorry. Age related problems I have, please forgive me. Okay, uh, execute it once more. Seven. I'll give seven values. 14, 18, okay, anything, 14, 5, uh, 25, 7, okay, that is 6 values, one more, okay, 12, okay. If I press enter, correctly you can see 25, okay. Please forgive me, I am an old man, sometimes I will make mistakes, okay. I hope everybody understood this. Now quickly write this logic, let me see if now you can do it. 